Hey guys, Kudros is here, and I am back with another unboxing video. God dang it. But, you know, this one's actually going to be pretty interesting for me because it's actually a Toho unboxing thing. So, uh, uh, Kai anime stuff, you're welcome. welcome. With that said, it's been quite some time since I did it. An unboxing. I think the last one was Tales of Zestaria for the PS4. Still haven't played it. Still do not have a PS4. So this is another PS4 game related unboxing where I can't play the game outright. So damn it. Let's just go on to it. I think you know how this goes if you've seen the other unboxing videos. So let's actually start the jump cutting, shall we? Let's do it! With the classic cover removed from its hinges, Computerosis can actually go to the actual unboxing plus backstory as to why the fuck did he buy this. Okay, first off, I forgot to pre-order this at GameStop so I could not buy it at my local GameStop, let alone at any other store that could be within walking distance. I don't have a car! Anyway, besides the point, so I had to order this online. Um, Alright, luckily enough, I had a bunch of GameStop gift cards. This is not a paid sponsorship from GameStop. I just have a lot of excess uh, GameStop gift cards that I can only use once every three months. <clears throat> but that's beside the point. Wait, wait. When I heard that this game was getting localized and, and it was coming out, I uh, I looked at it. I uh, saw how much it cost. It was only about 50 bucks, not including tax. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this. 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 Cause I, I, cause I blame Kai Anime stuff. You know who you are. You, or you semi got me into Toho. Even though, to be honest, it was a video called Cool and Create. It was, uh, it was a Toho MV that got me into Toho and got me into the lore of Toho, but not into the games of Toho. Uh, but Kai Anime stuff, I, you were one of the people that got me into the games. I want to say inadvertently, Lee, and some other people that are on Skype. I had SWAT team and uh, and Radiogenic Sky. I had, uh, and Robot Bob. Uh, those people. Anyway, enough backstory. Let's actually get into what the actual box is, and I can actually sit down and show this. But unfortunately, I'm gonna be standing up because the light is how it is in this room. So, I said the box here. I'm actually pretty surprised that. The thing that surprised me the most was the actual rating system. It was rated everyone 10 and up. I, I just found it to be pretty interesting. So anyway, it's rated E10 for fantasy violence, mild language, use of alcohol, and and then everything else is in French. So, what this game is, is basically the bullet hell fighting game. Yes. <laughs> out of all the solo games that came out, uh, ranging from all the bullet hells and the side ones, and even two fighting games, if I'm not imagining. Which is total 10 point something and 12.3. I think it's 10.5 and 12.3. From three, three. But yeah, uh, this is the Toho fighting game, and this is the uh, the limited edition box because I bought it using a GameStop gift card, as I mentioned before, and and so choosing from a variety of uh, Toho characters and bullet hell action meets classic arcade star fighting. Oh my gosh, and then Will the Power Rivals, even the toughest bosses, and at the Bullet Hell Master says an archive bus rush, and online modes, which means, uh, Kaime stuff, we, we need to be PS, PSN friends, send me a friend request, and I'll accept it, and then, once I get a PS4, we'll, we shall do battle, and you shall kick my ass, for sure, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, what's interesting is that this is actually just the the cover of it as I pan back and you see that this is What the box looks like without the cover on it and you see we got our characters on there God I'm drawing a blade there. It's been so long since I played Toho um, Besides reading dojo That's that's something completely different. I Might go into my entire backstory of Toho, but Oh, but this is actually, actually now to fame out, this is actually going to be one of the few unboxings where I don't know any full backstory outside of what I know in terms of information, and I'm drawing a blank because it's been so long since I've done Toho. So long. <laughs> um, back of her uh, rival battle thing between the two maidens. 
Right. But I actually actually get to the opening of the sequence because already this unboxing is just a rush of trying to remember stuff. That is not going to be a blooper reel later on. Anyway, let's actually get to the actual game itself. Back here, we got the free downloadable code to have Aya Samarura, who was introduced in Toho. I want to say seven. Seven. Anyway, anyway, use the story, background music, use themes, various things, the actual game itself. Oh, for AD10, for he just tinted it. No, you know, it's every. The box itself. No. No. And then we got. This is what I actually thought I pulled out the first time. Uh, time. The actual. Uh, the. Don Mac Music. Don Mac Music. Music. Uh, for the game, which I think just features just a bunch of limited tracks. Marsh? Uh, fun fact, I'm actually kind of surprised that NESS America actually got to be the ones to publish this game and actually made it out. And then we have the art book itself, which will actually feature all the characters and probably where they appear, stuff like that. Uh, let's actually take a glimpse inside. Oh, the first, that witch girl, you fool. Let me get some money and, and, oh, okay, just mentions the characters and all that. Look at all these! Oh my God, so much lore, so much backstory involving maidens and witches doing battle in space. Yes. This is probably gonna be one of the worst unboxings I've ever done, and and I've done one where I had a channel update. God, that was a while ago. So, but yeah, uh, just to wrap up this very very short unboxing with jump cuts included and little to no uh, blooper reels or anything like that that so you got all this this and I realize uh, these feel more like postcards but I won't know until I actually open it so let's actually jump cut to where I actually open all the packaging to this oh god I'm so bad at this I should go back to let's play all right, so a little light. Let's actually see what this actually is. And it looks to me it's two. Po oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, these these look like very large postcards that you cannot send. These are collectible postcards, which means why the f you send them? You hear that? Hear that? Kim Earth three fifty eight over two days for the. DS with your bonus postcards. Cards, collectible ones. Why should we send them to other people when we could just have them here with some of these awesome pictures with memes on it? Or at least they become memeish. I feel like there was more than these. Are you sure it's just free? Yeah. One, the determination. We will get our vengeance. Gents. Gents. And party, tea party, and then here. Okay, it's just four. It's just four. She has four. Anyway, the actual CD itself, when you actually open it up, which I'll open up like this, it looks alright. And then we come to the actual CD itself, as you see. For some reason, I, whenever I get CDs, they're always upside down. Oh my gosh, how squishy that. She, and here we have, oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've actually got a CD from like a limited edition thing where it actually has the tracks on it. I think the last, I think the last one I had was, uh, I think, I think it was Hysteria. But the one that I keep going back to that had the track list on there was when I bought Yves 1 and 2 Chronicles for the PSP and I bought the, the limited edition for that. And it had basically all the songs from both games, and it was amazing. Too bad I can't play it on my PSP anymore, which sucks. Plus, I can still listen to music on it, though. But, yeah. Ranging from the actual Rondo title theme, and all these different themes. Themes that you should probably all recognize, but they're remixed, or it's something new, especially for the game itself. Oh my gosh. And then, if you remove the CD itself will just oh my god 
got the CD just So, see the back? We see our maiden girl! Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, she's. Uh, if, if I remember correctly, she's not my favorite, but she is a. She is the one of the main characters of Toho. The main girls of Toho. So. Now, let's move on to the actual game itself. Man, I'm hoping there's an instruction booklet in here, and there isn't. Well, then. I know where I'm going to be putting this free downloadable code right in here, right in there. That'll be all. Man. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and Toho fans who know way more than I do. Dude, this has been the the worst unboxing video I've ever done, and for a very beloved franchise, franchise. Known by the name of Toho. Oh, with a range of colorful characters, range of colorful bullets, and a very colorful lore that just. Just. I've only. To be honest, I mostly only fall through Dojins. Thank you, Dojimo. Oh. You became the spirit for a lot of things. Le at least for the. At least for the spirit for the lore. But still, the cool and crazy video. Well, that was my first introduction to it, and then kind of made stuff, stuff, stuff who kind of told me that it was actually a bullet hell game, and and for of course for, for SWAT team, Rare Jane Sky, and uh, and Robot Bob for basically let me know that there was also fighting games for it, and then thank you for NIS America for localizing the bullet hell arcade fighting game game for the PS4. A system I don't have just yet. So with that said, this is Gibrosis. I'm so sorry for this this horrible, horrible unboxing. Uh, there are there is sort of like after credit sequences of of me fucking up even more that you can watch at the end of this video. Yeah, but uh, yeah, um, I I hope I. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna end this now. I'm I'm so sorry. This is this is not the way of, of coming back. <sighs> With that said, said RP hieroglyph, you will be missed at the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry I have to say this in, in such a such a crappy fashion. I'm so sorry. Roll credits. With the plastic, oh, uh. all right. Let's actually get into the box itself. Uh, first off, so we have the Total Guys and Bullet Bill. Don't know what this is. I, I don't know what this is. Oh my god! I flipped the barcode. What have I done? Trigger one PS4, the US Prime. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No oh god, why? It all fell. Yes, that's right. This is the official art book for Toho Gizurando Bullet Ballet. They, with all the characters that you come to know and love from the Toho franchise. Rimu Hakusa, Marisa Kasume, Hazura Azumi, the Rimula Scarlet, Alice Margrotto, Sane Kosurori, Yugi To Sariyoshi, Yoshiro Raji, Yumiro Kampaku, Ayosuni Matu, and Frade Scarlet. Alright, with the story arts on page 46. I know, I fudged up the name so hard. Alright, I think it's because this is my first time actually saying them out loud? Man, I should be better at this.
really should be better at this. I hope the Persona Final Boxing is way more better than this. Please be way better than this. <laughs>